What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Savage Studios. If you haven't already smashed that thumbs up, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, head over to the Savage Family, Savage spelled exactly the same way here, to see a range of more videos covering all kinds of topics about prison. Today, we got a good one. I'm very excited. We talk about prison politics. We talk about prison gangs. We talk about drama. We talk about pretty much everything you can think of here on YouTube. However, there should be more videos about people who have loved ones who just recently got incarcerated or maybe they've been incarcerated. People who have a husband or a wife or a boyfriend or a girlfriend who just got incarcerated. This video is going to be a step by step tutorial. So, you know, we talk as YouTubers and prison YouTubers, we cover a range of different topics from anywhere from gang, politics, drama, uh, correctional officers and whatever. But rarely are you seeing videos where people are providing a platform to actually help and direct you guys to certain websites and certain links and give you kind of the step by step because a lot of you people just really don't know and that's not your fault. You don't ever intend on someone you love to get arrested. You don't ever intend on somebody that you care for, a son, a daughter, a husband or a wife to become incarcerated. So you don't really know how to go about, you know, what do you need? What can I do for you? And sometimes, unfortunately, the inmate can't speak for himself. Sometimes he can't get access to a phone. Sometimes he won't see a phone for weeks. You got to know what you can do, who you can call, what you can order for that inmate to be that much more comfortable in whatever his messed up situation is and at least know that somebody loves him. So follow me on this step-by-step -step tutorial. I will be including links to, let's say, package companies if he's in prison. Um, I will be giving you a play by play of what you could be doing, ordering books, blah, 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 blah. Step number one, first thing first, call Global Telling or whatever that, that might be from your county, your country, your state, whatever the inmate phone option that they have for inmates and calling in from jail. Call that and put money if you want to. Once again, let me clarify if you don't believe in helping out an inmate who got himself in jail, I'm not mad at you. Like, I get it. This is this is a video only intended for those who wish to help take care, look after their loved one. That's it. So first thing you want to do is call that number. I will be providing the link to, I want to say the California one. So anyone who has someone incarcerated in California, call this number, set it up. It will be in my description as well. That way, first thing first, when he does or she does get her hands on a phone, you will be able to, without hesitation, receive that phone call. Step number two, listen, take your butt down to the post office and make sure you load up on bulk amounts of envelopes, lined paper, pencils, pens, and stamps, because your loved one, especially if it's a husband or a wife, is going to want to get a letter from you every single day, and you're going to want the same thing. Number three, immediately contact the county jail, the prison, or whatever, the, wherever this person is at that you care for, and figure out what the visiting process is. Does he need to apply to get you put on? Do you need to apply to get you put on? Whatever it is. Immediately figure that out because there's nothing like that contact, that physical touch, that hug, that embrace. It can keep a relationship together for so many years. That's number three. Number four, you're going to go ahead and look up that jail. Call them and ask them which vendors do they go through to order packages. You definitely want to be able to as soon as possible. And I say as soon as possible because the fish kit they be giving inmates upon intake Ain't nothing popular. It's a little skinny little piece of salt with like two razor blades, one piece of lined paper and an envelope and a small little knockoff pencil. Come on now, that ain't jiggy. Immediately figure out which vendor. So you call the jail. Hey, who can I call to go ahead and get a package delivered to your jail? Because every jail is different and they all have different vendors. And go ahead and order a package as soon as you can. Make sure you put as many soups as you can put in there. Make sure you put as many envelopes and, and paper, pa uh, pads full of paper, lined paper, some pencils. Make sure you put in Zuzus and Wham Whams and coffee. Okay, that is number four. Number five. After the packages and after all that's figured out, don't forget to put some money on his books. Now, if you put money on his books, you give him in most county jails the right to kind of maneuver a little bit, right? He can make phone calls with his own money because 
Let's say you're his mama. Okay, mom, thank you. Thank you for the 20 bucks. Now I got five bucks. I can go call my girl too and tell her to put another 20 bucks. And if you're the girl, vice versa to the mama and however the situation goes. So don't be afraid to throw a little bit of money on this book. Sprinkle me, baby. Number six, girl, take plenty of pictures. I don't care if you're the mom, the dad, the friends, whoever y'all is. Take pictures. Send pictures because at that moment of us being incarcerated or her being incarcerated or them being incarcerated, the incarcerated begins to live a life which is called vicarious life. So we live vicariously through the pictures you send us, through the letters you send us. So don't be afraid to go ahead and send as many pictures as you can. Last but not least, if he's in the county jail or she's in the county jail and you care about this person, show up at the court dates. Not all of them. You don't got to go to every single one of them. I mean, that would be cool. But there's no better feeling of when you have this high level of anxiety. Maybe shit ain't going good in your case. But you get in there and you sit in the box in the courtroom and you look over and you see somebody who actually cares about you. These are some these are a few major tips on how to comfort the person who just got incarcerated. And now if the, per the person is already in prison and you're just wanting to figure out how to make things work for a person who's in prison. I will be including all package catalog links that I remember and that I can get my hands on in the description of this video. Click on it, send us some packages, make sure you send them shoes, shorts, CDs, CD player, um, and whatever else they got in there. I paroled in 2018, who knows what they got now. But you know, obviously that's a big major thing. Put money on his books, he will be sure to call you. It's all the same. In case you didn't know, these are a few things you can do.